<gasps> uh, Most Haunted presenter Yvette Fielding has admitted that she has a better relationship with her father now since he died. Uh, she says that she's worked out a way to communicate with him from beyond the grave and that he gives her all sorts of advice from family living arrangements to comments on her appearance. So would you want to be visited by a long lost loved one? And I'm going to ask you first, Kelly, because you've actually had this experience. Yeah, so I'm, um, it's funny actually, because it's um, coming up to my Nana Rose's anniversary of her, of her death. Um, and she had cancer and so I was very much involved with looking after her all the way through treatment. And um, after she passed away, I was um, doing pants at the time and I was in Western Supermare and I was staying by myself. And um, I, I was asleep and I, I felt like a tugging on my duvet. And inside me I was like, but I'm on my own, so I, I'm not here with anybody else. And so I immediately got scared and found the courage to kind of put my head above the you know, the pillars and the duvet, and I looked and I could see my nan. So I could see her face. It was, she wasn't as she was before she died. So she looked younger and healthier and, um, and I could see that it was her and it was just sort of a, an outline of her. And she just very, she just said to me, um, I, you're, you will have a son. That was, those were her words, you will have a son. And, and then she disappeared and I was really scared, like absolutely petrified, I'm on my own. And I remember- Were you pregnant? Um, I wasn't pregnant at the time, but I was soon to be. Oh. Um, and so I literally, you know, I, and I literally said, please Nan, that was really lovely to see you, but please don't come back. It's really, you know, you really scared me, like, please don't come yeah. back. Um, anyway, so I- Has she uh, my, ever come back? She's never come back. And I, and I really don't want her to. I want her to just rest in peace. Okay. Um, but, um, Not but even yeah. for a chat, like Yvette Fielding. No. She's quite happy to have a chat. I don't, I don't want to chat. I found it really scary. And I, I, and I didn't feel comfortable. You know, lots of people, like, I mean, Yvette yeah, Fielding is saying mm. she feels comfortable and finds comfort in that. I didn't find any comfort in it. But I did have a son. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's a pity yeah. that, um, it's a pity that Yvette Fielding um, couldn't have got the ghost that she talks to to make an appearance on Most Haunted because we never actually saw a ghost in 93 series, if no. I remember. <laughs> no, funnily um, enough, the camera that. always broke down at that moment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which is worrying. So, <laughs> yeah, and to be honest well, with you, anyone talking at my duvet would be very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> She's it's just been a while. Out there now. But would you prefer living rather than dead? I don't care. You don't that's care. Don't care. Living living care. Care. No, I, right. I can't be that choosy Any, now. I'm anyone listening duvet. from from the other yes. realm and beyond, yes. you know, very welcome. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've had some amazing comments, mm. in, and some of them are really moving. Janina said, uh, "My dad passed 17 years ago now. Uh, since I've had my first son, uh, he's always said there's a man around, and every time I ask what he looks like, he points to a picture of my dad that I have in my bedroom, and he's only three." years old, her little oh, boy. Wow. Uh, Amanda says, my daughter at six used to say that uh, in her dreams, she was dancing with a lady with dark, kind eyes. I showed her some photos. Uh, when we got, the got to the photo of my nan, she said, that's the lady who comes to see me. I found it quite comforting that she used to say she was a, a nice lady. Oh. Um, Karen says, I love my granddad dearly. I was devastated when he died. Then a few weeks later, I was sitting in my lounge and the whole room filled with the smoke of his pipe, a very distinctive aroma. I knew immediately it was him telling me he was OK. And then strangely, I spoke to my mother and my sister a few days later and they both had exactly the same thing happen to them. How weird. That's See, really things, things like that I think are really beautiful. I think it it's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Oh, no, don't come and visit me. Don't yeah, come and visit no. you. No. And I think it's fascinating as well that very yeah. often it's children who don't necessarily have the fear that we have or the, the knowledge that they might try and block out. Mm. I, I, I believe in it. Do you? Yeah, I do. I do. I, I think know. it's a beautiful I don't. thing. Yeah. But then there's lovely Jason here. He says, no one has visited, visited me. You're a long time dead. So communication while you're alive is more important. Oh, well, he's, yeah. he's got a point. Yeah, he does have a point, point, doesn't he? It's good to talk, whether yeah. alive or dead. There we are. <laughs>